What's up guys, Randa Razor here with another video for, or uh, part 2 video, sorry, on that plastic storage tower thing I showed you guys a few days ago. And in this video I just filled this thing up with a bunch of stuff that hopefully gives you, give you, gives you guys an idea of what you can use it for. But anyways, I got this a um, few days ago, or last week actually, uh, for college, which is uh, coming out this fall. It was on sale for half price, you know, $20, might as well get it now and get it out of the way. And um, I got it because most college residences in uh, southern Ontario here at least they don't, they don't really offer much in terms of storage so like they'll give you a desk, they'll give you a closet, they'll give you a bed of course but um, in terms of you know drawers, storage, organization, all that stuff uh, they don't really give you much for that, maybe a couple but that's pretty much it and that's just built on the desk which doesn't really offer much uh, for that so you can pick up one of these, it's a storage tower here and um, I know there are better ones out there, you can get like Ikea and stuff, but uh, you know, I just wanted an in inexpensive one that's easy to carry around, and you know, if it, something happens to it, then it's not a huge loss. So $20, yeah, I might be pissed uh, if it broke or something, because you know, $20 is so a significant amount of money, I suppose. But um, you know, it's not a huge loss, and it's uh, plastic too, so it's very lightweight. And the uh, cool thing about this is um, if you get the one from Gracious Living here, which is the company that made this, I assume, uh, it's made in Canada too, so you're not getting like a shitty product here. It's pretty good quality. All the plastics are very thick and uh, fairly strong. It does wobble a little bit, but that's probably because it's on wheels. But uh, very strong shells and very strong uh, build, you could say. But anyways, I guess we'll just get started, and uh, hopefully this will uh, give you guys an idea what you can use it for and whether or not it's right for you. But anyways, on the top here, we just got my Canon SLR camera, which doesn't really have anything to do with this uh, video. But um, in here, we just got you can see my tech stuff, not really. But I got a graphing calculator here, another scientific calculator here um, for running what's on this it's just a skin that I got off uh, my tagro that I stuck or stuck on here and um, got my iPhone 4 box which still has the accessories in it that I haven't used yet um, got these uh, uh, foam white foam ear pads for uh, headphones uh, not just for iPhone ones but pretty much any standard one and I highly recommend these because they make um, I find the iPod headphones and probably every other headphone out there uh, kind of uncomfortable to uh, use. So these foam ear pads, they don't you know distort the sound or anything. They just make it a lot more comfortable to wear on your ear, and that's what they uh, kind of look like. Got off eBay for a dollar, free shipping. Only downside took a month to ship, but you know you get 40 of them too. So for one dollar, that's a pretty good deal. Anyways, got a couple iPod um, headphones here, some two extra chargers for my iPhone, and an extra USB. Uh, uh, sync cable for uh, charging and syncing my iPhone. Um, over here, we just have my uh, mag light LED flashlight. You never know when that might or you never know when a flashlight might come in handy. Under here, we just got some envelopes, which I'm not sure what to do with those. Um, got a little pouch here for my uh, Western Digital um, portable hard drive over there. And lastly, we just got an in case mini neoprene sleeve uh, for my iPhone to carry around sometimes. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the top. As you can see, it's uh, shallow shells are great for storing you know small stuff. Uh, next, we have uh, you could call this call this a school essentials you could say, but um, got a mask set here which I rarely ever use. Um, some pencil crayons which I have not used yet, and um, some tape, extra sharpie pen, some extra pencils, a band aid there for some reason. Um, a mix of pens, pencils, and sharpies. Uh, some ink for my uh, fountain pen. Uh, some scissors. Uh, some metal clips. And a uh, stapler and a uh, three hole punch. And I think that's pretty much it for this shelf. Or not shelf, drawer. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't know why I keep saying shelf. Anyways, moving on. We've got the, uh, all the papers and uh, papers and a single ink cartridge here for my uh, HP printer back there which I'm gonna have to hog to college which I'm not looking forward to because it's a very very big printer and uh, but yeah anyways I got some HP advanced uh, photo paper here which I've not opened for like two years now I mean because I've not gone through the first package yet uh, then we have some uh, five star premium line paper here and some five star premium craft paper there and for those of you who you know use binder and paper which I'm pretty sure most people do use for school I recommend the five star premium paper you might it is five dollars so it's you know not cheap but um, it's very good paper very thick and very strong and I find the cheap paper just you know just rips too easily on the rings on binders and but anyways awesome paper highly recommend it and on the bottom here we just got some uh, HP thick white paper here for my uh, printer obviously anyways that's it for that show or drawer I keep saying shelf for some reason and last er, last shallow uh, drawer here we have some University View books and uh, this one's Ryerson which I applied to uh, didn't apply to Huron, didn't apply to McMaster I did apply to Laurier which I want to go to there I think 
apply to Guelph as well. And last one I applied to was Western. Yeah, there we go. University of Western Ontario. And I think pretty much that's all of them. Got from more got some more university view books here. And I'm probably not gonna be hogging this with hogging all these books with me to university. They're just in here for now. Anyways, last two uh, big drawers here. Got some uh, binders here, and I did forget to mention um the shell or the drawer for a paper here. I noticed that the length of the paper is the same uh, length as the width of the drawer here, which is kind of cool. So it kind of fits it perfectly. Uh, same with the binders here. Um, the width of the binders are pretty much the same as the width of the drawers here, so they fit pretty much perfectly, which I kind of like. So these things are, are definitely uh, designed for uh, school use if you really want it. But anyways, I got this um, using this drawer for a bunch of binders and stuff, uh, extra binders, you know, if, you, if I need them. And uh, lastly here, we got all my uh, tech kind of package or boxes here. Which um, when I usually when I buy stuff, I kind of keep the packaging depending on what it is. Usually, more the, the more expensive stuff, you know, because you never know if you have to return it or uh, you know something to do with warranty and have to take it back, or if you want to just you know resell it, you know it's better to have the original packaging because generally you get more money out of it and people generally want to buy it when you have you know everything together. But anyways, um, got my uh, iPod Touch box here, which I still have. And it was my very first iPod. Got my iPhone 3GS, which I don't have anymore. I uh, got an extra Autobox Defender case, um, the Autobox Commuter Series case box, and uh, no, I don't collect iPhone cases or anything like that, like other YouTubers do. But uh, I just have three cases: the Autobox Defender, the Autobox Commuter, and the Apple Bumper case. That's pretty much it. Uh, got the um, pa packaging for the Apple Mouse or Magic Mouse. Um, a sticker from Autobox, an extra holster. That came with the Defender for the Otter Box. And over here, that's just the uh, Apple Universal Dock Box, which uh, I got a couple of years ago, I think. And that thing there is the uh, Western Digital Portable Hard Drive Box. And I'm keeping that because it has a three year warranty on it, which is uh, very nice. Uh, you know, that Western Digital offers a three year warranty, which most manufacturers usually, usually just offer one, but you can tell it's a great company. Well, they stick by a three year warranty. Down here, um, on, on the bottom of all this stuff, actually. I have my um, Apple MacBook Pro box in here, which is actually the same uh, size as a shelf here, so it fits in perfectly as well, which kind of surprised me. As you can see, the entire box is in the shelf or er, drawer here, which is kind of cool, but anyways, just wanted to throw that out there. Anyways, um, yeah, that's just a drawer for all the packaging. I really don't, I'm going to carry all this though with me to university, so I'll save this drawer for something else. But anyways, um... That hopefully gives you guys an idea what you can use all this for. Also, this is great for you know storing clothes as well. Uh, if you want to get the you know all, the, all deep drawer uh, combination, that's great for storing sweaters, jeans, socks, stuff like that. Or you know just get a combination of both like I have here. But um, anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, you can call this video you know what's in my drawers video. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And that's what I'm using this for, kind of. But um, anyways, great for college, and I highly recommend this product. You know, save yourself, save yourself from money from getting something that's kind of expensive and would suck to break at college. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy this. Rate, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a fantastic day. See you all in the next video. Peace.